What's up guys, it's Jenny and today I'm going to teach you how to create blobs and how to create these fancy looking cells which are uh, dividing, duplicating. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's jump in After Effects and create our new composition. Uh, my composition is again set to the Instagram size, which is 1400 pixels and rest of it I'm leaving as it is. I'm changing the duration for 10 seconds, which should be enough time for this project. And first we're going to create a circle, so I'm gonna grab a circle and I'm gonna hold a shift key so that the circle is nice and it's not distorted or anything um, and I'm also making sure that the anchor point is in the center of the circle. You can adjust it by holding a command and double clicking the anchor point sign on the top and then I'm just gonna align it to the center. We are going to duplicate the layers so that we have a two circles two cells, one dividing from the first one and I'm just kind of rearranging them so that we have a lot of space for them to divide. I'm also going to turn on the grid and the grid is going to be very important because we're going to take it as a reference for the second circles which are going to be a body of the cell. Alright, so now we're going to create some anchor points for position and I'm going to divide the left cell from the right one and the cell's going to be dividing for two seconds. Don't forget about easy is everything. I'm just dragging everything to the left so that it's faster at the beginning and it slows down as it ends. Um, next, we're going to create an adjustment layer. Adjustment layer is a layer and <laughs> yeah, it is layer, but everything what is below that is affected. So all the facts you will add to adjustment layer, everything what is below it is going to be affected. And we are going to apply two effects. First one is going to be fast box blur and second one a simple choker. First we are going to crank up blur radius. so. Um, that it's a little bit blurry and then we're going to adjust the simple choker and make it again so it's nice and crispy and our sharp edges. You will lose some of the pixels by doing it so make sure that the circles are big enough for your project. Next where I'm going to do is that I'm gonna make one of those circles bigger. So as it kind of, as it separates, I'm gonna make the circle to go smaller. Don't forget to easy ease everything again. And I'm just kind of playing with the scale so that it matches um, the effect I want to create. And that is that I want almost like the, the bigger kind of circle pushes away the second one and that way it separates. Um, so yeah, just play with it and once you're happy, now we have to create the body of the cell. We're gonna create a new composition again and create again circles and do you remember how I said that we're gonna use the grid as a reference? So um, I know where the position of my first circles were so I'm gonna adjust the second circles so that it matches the center of the first circles. We're going to duplicate the circle and set the position in exactly the same way as the bigger circles and easy easy uh, exactly in the same way as the bigger circles as well. This is very important because if you easy easy differently then it's, it will not match. We will create adjustment layer again and add fastbox blur effect and simple choker 
and exactly the same effects as we applied to big circles. We are going to blur it a little bit and with the simple choker we're going to crank it up back so that it's nice and crispy again. Then we will pre-compose this composition. Find it in our project files on the left menu and add it to the composition with our big circles and we're going to add it on the top of it. Now it looks okay but I personally would like much better if the inner circle would scale down samely as the bigger circle so I'm going to adjust the scale again. Make sure to easy ease it again. Now we can finally turn off the grid because we don't need it anymore. Recompose the big circles and small circles together. And I actually figure out that it would be much better if it looked more organic. So we're gonna add turbulence display to our composition. And we will crank up a little bit of amount but just a slightly don't overdo it and here's the final result thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe to this channel for future videos and see you at the next video